Um, the geniuses at the Apple Store Genius Bar are dumb. See how this thing zoomed just now in when uh, um, and you can't move it, you can't get the log on screen or whatever. Um, this happened a couple months after I bought my iPod Touch, so I took it to the Genius Store, um, Apple Store, and um, the guy, you know, they let me talk to a genius, quote unquote, and he said he's never seen anything like this before. Uh, he powered down and then powered back up, and he says, well, must be some program that's, uh, that you have installed in there that's causing a problem with the display, and he said he'll give me a new one. So I asked him, will he give me a new one or a refurbished one? He never answered that question, but then he said, well, let's try reinstalling the iOS. So he reinstalled the iOS and the, um, the problem went away. Of course, everything else went away too. I had it in, the, in my iPod. And if you notice, there is a way, I found this out later, um, um, it, it, it's intuitive. When you go, when you go this way, you want to move it, it won't move, but if you hold it on the side, it goes to the other side. And you notice I have an alphanumeric uh, password. So after we installed, he reinstalled the iOS, uh, it went back to the standard uh, four digit number. So I asked him, I told him, I did this a long time ago, I did it, it was brand new, I forgot the details, uh, how do you get it back to alphanumeric uh, password? And he said, there is no alphanumeric password. And I said, I just had it. And he said, well, I've been working here since the iPhone, the first iPhone came out, and there's no such thing as alphanumeric passport, uh, password. So I took it away from him, and it was just a setting under the settings to make it change it from a four-digit number to alphanumeric. Uh, I told him he had to go to training. But the real thing is, he was willing to give me a new iPod. He reinstalled, but instead when I asked if it's new or refurbished, he reinstalled it because he said he'd never seen this before. I asked him if he's going to report it as a possible bug. He said, yes, he will. Well, shows you how dumb he is. All, all this is, when I didn't know because I'm a brand new uh, iOS user, it's the old double tap, uh, three, finger, three finger double tap to get into Zoom. All you have to do is double, double tap it three times. And he's a genius and didn't even know that. And he worked there since the iPhone 4. Didn't even know that. So, you know, he's kind of dumb, but besides that, there's other things that the Apple Store has done. Before I bought this the first time, I asked the salesman, he wasn't a genius, he was just a salesman, where is the mic on the uh, new iPod Touch 4, because the 3 didn't have a mic, and he said it's on the bottom. And I said, no, it can't be on the bottom, on the bottom is, is the speaker, uh, the USB, and the jack. And he was, you know, he just walked away, basically. He had another customer. The, the microphone's in the back. He didn't even know where his own, about his own product. He assumed it was the same as, a, as an iPhone. So, again, um, they're really stupid there. Uh, you ask questions, they don't know the answer, they make it up. I have asked other questions, too, which I don't remember the details. They were also wrong. So, um, when you go to the Genius Store, just remember, they are stupid.